So guys, here is uh, part two of our video on an MBA kit. And now we want to learn about how to assemble it. And you can start with the valve. This is our valve. You can see it has these parts that move. Now you take the valve liner. You can see it has grooves here that fit here. So you align it in the valve. You align the valve liner in the valve. You can see it fits nicely, snugly there. And it's here. It's held. Okay. Then you close the valve until it snaps. Let me repeat that so that you can feel the snap. Okay. Then you check that it's aligned. All right, and it's well aligned. The next step is you take the valve cap, the cap, this one. You can see these grooves, they align here. So you just push it in. Again, you feel for the snap, like that. That way you know that the liner is well applied and the valve will not open because the cap has fit and it has closed here. After you assemble the valve, you fit your cylinder where it's supposed to go, which is here. Okay? And it's advised that you align everything like this. It makes it easier to be oriented when later when you're doing the procedure. So you align the, the valve with the cylinder like that. Once you do that, go to your plunger sometimes you'll find that this o-ring has been removed in this case uh, let me try and remove it just for demonstration purposes okay so if you find that when the it was used the o-ring was removed you come and fit it here in this groove like that and it fits in very nicely now for it to be easy to do the procedure it's important to lubricate um, the o-ring with uh, silicone based it's not uh, advisable to use water based or petroleum based uh, lubricants and do not over lubricate so you lubricate it and then the next step is to push it in to the cylinder okay and if you if you notice the arms move so what you do is you press on them so that it goes in then you push it in okay once it's in you push it in all the way again try and align everything so that it's horizontal from the valve to the cylinder to the plunger once this is in now you take your collar stop there are some holes on the cylinder and those holes is where this these two projections will fit huh? now these projections are the one that prevent this from coming out all the way if you see it can come out all the way when you're doing the procedure so you want to put the collar stop so that it holds it. That's it. This other side, it fits in like that. So that's your assembled kit. You can do that and test it. And you see that the collar stop holds the plunger in place. And these arms prevent it from going back in when you create vacuum. Because they have come out like that and they have held on to the, to the edge of the cylinder so if you want to push it back in you have to push them in like that and push it back in like that okay now that is assembly I will show you in the next video how to okay so we have the assembled kit now we just want to apply vacuum and this is pretty easy 
so you just come and hope, close the valve you push this in and they lie like that I'll do it again now I've opened I've closed then after you've closed you pull your plunger this is why you needed lubrication all the way to there now there is vacuum in here if you want to release the vacuum like that let me demonstrate it again you have vacuum you're creating vacuum and it has locked all right if you are doing the procedure the next step would be to sound the uterus have the cannula in then when you connect it once the cannula is in can feel the vacuum is being transmitted all the way and that is the, suc the suction motion you need guys now we look at how to disassemble the MVA kit which is a very easy start by removing your cannula you twist it okay do not attempt to remove from the base okay and then uh, Pull the cylinder head out of the valve like that okay then you want to remove um, the cap first from the cylinder okay which is uh, like that next it's very easy you can see it locks there so if you press on this too like that and pull it comes out then you open your valve and your valve liner will come out like that next you want to remove the plunger from the cylinder but you first have to remove the collar stop like that then you pull your plunger out like that and then you can remove the o-ring like that and that's how you disassemble 